initially it's very evident that the, uh, there's total destruction on the buildings that are affected. Um, we're passing what we were told were three or four story structures that uh, went from apartment houses to hotels and even grocery stores. Uh, I think the earthquake happened around 5 o'clock, between 4.50 and 5, and our host here tells us that that's the busiest time of day for the grocery store. Um, the, the destruction is, is, is complete, and the people are afraid to go back into any remaining, um, any remaining homes that may be standing uh, because of the aftershocks. And so they are congregating along the streets as well as in the open spaces, large parks. I understand that the, uh, pre uh, the prime minister's uh, yard is filled with people. Um, these people do not have uh, any shelter. This is day number five, and anyone who's left in the structures uh, presumably are dead. Um, but yet the families remain. Uh, pray for the, the mothers and fathers of the children who were in the school that collapsed in Patientville who still are waiting to see indeed if there's any hope. Uh, just, just pray for the, the people in Haiti. Pray for the people in the response. Pray for those who are here and those who are coming. Our first DC-6 arrived and we were able to unload and uh, on that came uh, plastic sheeting, hygiene kits, jerry cans, flashlights and blankets. Uh, they had a first distribution today to 360 families. Uh, because of the security issue you cannot go down and set up a distribution um, position as we usually do in the field and so we're going through the local churches and so the pastors can have a little more control on, on, on who, needs, who needs to have and what they need to have. On our arrival of a 100-bed hospital, um, we had to walk around people to get into, just to get in to see it. Um, we do floor counts and bed counts here. Uh, it's a, it is a 100-bed hospital, and at one day we had 300 patients. Okay. You just tuck up in the blanket there and hang in, and then the doctors are going to come and do an operation to fix yes. your leg yes. as soon as we can. The showers and prayer, we're, we're having a lot of purchases in country, and for that we do, we do need donations. If you want to donate, Go to SamaritansPurse.org or call Samaritans Purse.